Okay, here we're going to be looking at the effects of UV or ultraviolet radiation on plant contents. So one may be familiar with UV radiation as being something to be of caution to, and that is important. It also can be used to kind of reveal certain things when we're looking at uh, developing money that's hard to counterfeit, and it can make certain liquids glow. But it is something, this UV radiation is something to be concerned about, and typically we'll see that associated with sunglasses. So UV light, there's different forms, UVC, UVB, and UVA. UVA is accounts for about 95% of the UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. While UVB is a chief cause for skin reddening and sunburn, it tends to damage the skin's more superficial epidermal layers, and that's the outer portion. UVC is filtered out by the ozone and the stratosphere. So these are in addition to visible light, as we see here. There's UVA and UVB. You can see the different wavelengths that's occurring. That UVA can d penetrate deeper into our skin than UVB, which tends to stay more in the epidermal layer closer to our skin surface. Now what's being shown here is that um, lettuce is affected by UV light production. So growing the right type of green uh, leaf lettuce during the winter in a greenhouse and exposing it to the right type of ultraviolet light can boost levels nutritionally of carotenoids according to the Agricultural Research Service. So supplementing UVA plus UVB greatly increased the carotenoid and chlorophyll concentrations in green leaf lettuce varieties. So here's one example of how adjusting the light can affect the outcome of the plant. This master's thesis also looked at um, lettuce production. And this thesis was published in the year 2016. And they showed that the use of supplemental light to improve the quality of red lettuce is common practice in today's greenhouse production. And the use of UV light treatments leads to an increase in the synthesis of health promoting compounds, um, phenolic acids, and flavonoids. So there's just another example of light affecting the outcome. Now, since we're going to relate this to cannabis here, the importance of UV light in trichome development. So in cannabis, increased UVB radiation resulted in increased THC levels in the flowers. It's just referring to the study here. THC just being a cannabinoid, maybe something like this could be also be applied to CBD production. Trichomes can block harmful UVB rays from reaching the sensitive uh, photosynthetic tissues of the leaves. As a result, these trichomes that are being produced uh, increase numbers. I thought the function almost is like a shading effect or a sunblock for the plants. A similar way to melanin protects the skin from UVB damage. In this case, plants are producing higher trichomes, which in return are producing higher cannabinoids. So again, the plants that we're giving um, the artificial light to we may want to be considering lights that produce the UV light part of the spectrum to help increase the cannabinoids that they can produce.